Now to our NewsHour Share, something that caught our eye that may be of interest to you, too. Allegiances to sports teams run deep in many families. But one Virginia man decided to let the nation's Major League Baseball franchises make their own pitch for his son's affection. The NewsHour's Julia Griffin explains. This photo is good for two Astros tickets. So, yeah. So when are you going to redeem that? If we're up to me and we're having such a good year, we'd go this season, but that would be unfair for Jack. Right. This, I is, mean, this is Jack. He wouldn't so remember it. He wouldn't so. remember. Jack wouldn't remember a Houston Astros game because he was just born in February. And while his father, Pete Van Vliet, is a lifelong Astros fan, he wants Jack, like his five-year-old daughter Madeline, to choose his own allegiance. I didn't want to force anything on my kids, especially in the realm of baseball, so I let them pick their own team. A few seasons ago, Madeline picked Detroit, reasoning that Tigers are fierce. A friend of mine asked, after Jack was born, is he going to be an Astros fan? I said, no, he can root for whomever he wants. And then it dawned on me, why not let the teams have a say? When spring training got underway, Pete, who for the record is an employee of PBS, mailed letters to all 30 Major League Baseball teams. The query was simple, but serious. I want to give you, the Pittsburgh Pirates, the San Francisco Giants, the Washington Nationals, a chance to make your own case as why my son should pick your team to root for. I must tell you, I do not take this lightly. Friends may come and go. Political affiliations and beliefs in higher powers may change. But one's team is one's team. Forever. It wasn't long before responses, or arguably bribes, began to arrive. From the Milwaukee Brewers, a letter and an autographed baseball. From Matt Garza, their, their ace pitcher. From the Miami Marlins. Billy the Marlin, our mascot, is goofy, adorable, and is blatantly superior to all other <laughs> major league mascots. So if he's fishing for a team, the Marlins are a good one there. Pittsburgh Pirates president Frank Coonley wrote a personal note. The pirate ship has plenty of room on it for a young fan from Ashland, Virginia. Nationals team manager Dusty Baker sent pint-sized team gear and an invitation. I want to get you started by inviting you to our ballpark to catch a game, visit the field during batting practice, and of course, a sharp outfit for you to start with your own collection. While the Chicago Cubs sent an array of 2016 World Champions memorabilia and made a play for Madeline. I know big sisters have a lot of influence over their little brother, so maybe you can help us convince Jack to be a Cubs fan. Why not? That's very smart Not though. only did they send all the swag, right. but they are going after the sister vote exactly. as well. A total of 13 teams have replied so far, but have any knocked their argument out of the park? Is four-month-old Jack persuaded? There was a smile. Yeah, maybe that's it. Well, for now, no comment. Jack is just enjoying the pennant pursuer's pursuit. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Julia Griffin in Ashland, Virginia. Just shameless, and I like the team that went after, I guess it was the Cubs who uh, thought about the big sister.